People, we've been trying to do this video for so long. Oh, yeah. Many years I have tried to search for every spam. There are so many types of spam out there. And I only have 12 here today. And you might be thinking, is that all the spams? Here's the thing. There was like four other ones when you look into it that exist. They have them on their Believe website. Me, we got weird ones. They say that they're real. I called Hormel. I straight up called Hormel on the phone, got a representative. I'm like, where are these spams? And their response to me was, oh, we discontinued those a couple years ago. And I'm like, why you have them on your website? What are you doing? How are you going to make me sit here trying to hunt these spam down for so long? <sighs> Sorry, Wes. We're very excited to do this. I'm very excited. Because we've been waiting a long time. So hyped. We're going to start with original spam. Yep. Now, we have the cans out here. We've got them on the, these are the fantastic Zoo Pals plates. Yep. And these are the tamer. Flavor. Yeah, these six the, more after this, they get funky. Yeah, they get a bit weirder and weirder as we go. We have the normal can here. We have them cooked and raw. Eventually, we realized that we're not going to eat a can and a half of spam of each spam. in this sitting, so yeah. we brought it down to one later on. But for the starter, we should have drink it. This is so salty. It's so salty. Crazy how salty this is. I That's why I like spam light more. It's spam, guys. And? Spam is salty. So like, that's why I said we need some rice or something to cleanse the palate. It's raw, yeah. Like if it's mixed with rice or something to absorb some of that salt, it'll be good. Like great. You ever eat Spam Masubi? I have actually. It's the really best thing. good. Best thing ever. I don't hate it raw either. I, I, I know you don't like it raw, but it's still funny. I actually think raw tastes less salty. It does taste less salty? Right. The salt comes out when you yeah. cook it. I'm going to leave those there for now so I can go back and compare. Next up, we have less salt. Let's find out. Is it just 25% less? Yeah. Yeah, 25% less salt. Which is, by the way, the same amount of less salt that's in light. In the light, but there's less fat as well. Yeah, and calories. It's better. Yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. this more. It's just a lot better. It's just not overpoweringly salty. Like I'm not like, oh crap, I need a drink after that. Yeah. What are we doing with these? Oh, what do you mean? I guess we're just giving them numbers, right? Oh, oh rating wise? We can do numbers or we can do grades like we did before. I'm just going to rank them better or worse than normal spam, probably. That's fair. So I'll give this a five. Right. And then this is better. This is like it's a better. Seven. Seven, yeah. Six. Or seven. seven. Oh, we got to try it raw, too. Samantha's gagging. Honestly, it doesn't taste like a lot. No. Pretty bland. It's yeah. Like salt. I think so I. Like, raw, I'm, under, I'm I understanding like, something. Yeah. Raw is better. The normal is better with raw. The salt. Like with the salt. It needs that salt to get the flavor out versus this. But if you're cooking it, you don't need all that salt. And so, so less sodium this. is better. I would never eat it raw, so I'm always going to get this. Actually, yeah. I always get this one. <clears throat> so this, this one is light. So is this the creme is de la creme. Also 25% less sodium, but it's 50% less fat, 33% less calories. And by the way, I looked. Because it's less fat and salt, I think there's more actual meat in here. Yeah, there's has, just a lot it more It has more meat. protein in it. I mean, you can probably tell just from looking at the color. See how much pinker more. this is? A serving of, of Spam is a sixth of the can. And in a sixth of this can, there's nine grams of protein. The plain That's actually a lot of protein yeah, in this yeah. can. The plain is actually pretty solid, too. Is it's it? Raw. Yeah. It's very porky. See, this actually tastes more meaty than the... Yeah. So in the real world, when mm -hmm. you eat spam, you make sandwiches out of it, you put it in stuff, or you just like... People do a lot of things with it. Just so, like get a spoon, open a can, and mm. go to town. Mm. I fry it up, and I'll put it over rice with an egg and avocado. So you use it as a replacement for meat? Yes. Yeah, and how meat. much is a can of spam? Depends. A lot of money nowadays, actually. Because really? Really? Like, I can get a pound of ground turkey for $3, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. a pound of chicken for $2. Yes. So is it... Worth it. How is much it are they? Five bucks cheaper? now. It's like back in the they're like day, five bucks. Like, yeah, they're like wow. five bucks a can. So it's not even actually cheaper anymore. Cause like no, back, back in the, the day, day it when, was, like, but my now my grandpa was a kid. They would eat spam because they were poor. Yeah. But now, now like, we eat it for pleasure. Do. Yeah. Yeah, I actually kind of like this. I feel like this could be a lunch thing for me. The light spam. Yeah. Oh, also Especially spam. Is, whole, I mean, spam masubi is really good. Literally, if you eat half a can, that's 30 grams of protein. That's pretty good. Take a piece of Spam, it's like put it sushi. on top of a bed of rice, and wrap it in seaweed. Because like, it's not even a full pound. It's 12 ounces. Yeah. No, Spam is expensive. Yeah, it seems like it's expensive. This is a luxury. It looks like the little ham pieces that like IHOP serves. Are they really serving the Spam? Probably not. probably know that. No. Either. It does, though. It's too You're high right. of a quality. Like it. They're too high quality. <laughs> I honestly, I really, I like this light. You're right, Chris. Yeah, this is the best one. Yeah. So this is like an eight, I nine, guess. Nine. I, what do we give this? I this would is say a nine. 
the six seven. Honestly, five six seven to me. Five seven nine. If it's cooked. Yeah, well, I'm only talking cooked. I'm not talking yeah. raw at all. The raw's here for like I don't know fanfare. I don't know why we got the raw here. Raw's there for some people do raw. Tornadoes. Some people do raw. Some people do do raw, but like that's why. Okay, next up, I'm excited for this one. Hickory smoke. I've never had any flavor of spam before, just spam. So. Oh, so smoky. Wow. I love that. It tastes like ham because of the smoking. It kind of tastes smoke like ham. Sonny's barbecue. You should have dirty I'm getting Sonny's barbecue from this one. This is really good. Yeah, it's really good. What's the sodium in the normal? A lot. Three hundred percent of your daily sodium intake. No, nah, um, per serving, serving or per can? Serving. Seven hundred and seventy milligrams. This is six forty. It tastes less salty. This is five seventy. <laughs> Dude, I just debated her so hard. I knew if I said it tastes like Sunny's barbecue, she'd try it. It it's so spongy. Yeah, don't try it raw. It's even more spongy. It doesn't even, it's not even like meat. It's, like, it's actually decent raw. It is. It is. I like it. I like the smoke raw a lot. This is the only one I've liked raw. The smoke one is honestly the best. I don't know. It kind of gives me smoked salmon vibe raw. Say seven? Oh, that? Um. Because to me, it's five, six, eight. seven. I think this is eight. seven and a half, eight. eight. I'll give it an eight. I'll give it an yeah, eight. I'll give it an eight. Next is spicy. Hot and spicy. This one's a different color. It's literally orange. Pick guys. it up because it's kind of orange. Pick up the raw piece and oh, show it. The raw yeah. piece is literally orange. It's on an orange plate, so it's hard to tell. Fair. It's on a Tina the Tiger. Mm. Mm. Tastes like they added buffalo sauce to it. Yeah, it's buffalo sauce. Actually, it's probably not buffalo sauce. It's probably just Tabasco because buffalo has butter in it. It's butter. Yeah. And it's probably a fat. Do you want me to read the ingredients? Not really. <laughs> I don't know if you want to know. Yeah, not really. Can you do me a favor, Sam? What is mechanically separated? Me like mechanically chicken? separated what, chicken and pork? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. It's. Water, it's the extra bits of pork and chicken they don't want to sell as pork you read and any, chicken. You eat any chicken nuggets, it says mechanically separated is, chicken. It's yeah. red pepper with distilled vinegar it's hot sauce. and paprika. It's, yeah. hot sauce. it's hot sauce and some paprika. <clears throat> Could you pass me that water? Yeah, it's so nasty, Mallory. No, it's just I'm a baby with spice. It is surprisingly spicier than I would think. I, it's not like spicy spicy, but like I was no. expecting no heat. And there's some heat. The last one jalapeno. is yeah, jalapeno. It has like clearly chunks of jalapeno. You can see in this raw one right here. There's literally a little chunk of jalapeno in it. Oh, wow. it's very jalapeno. Mm. Mm. Wow, really nice. Yeah. The flavor on that one was good. The thinner pieces taste better. So you want to get thin and crisp up? Yeah. Yeah, that one that I tried was like super thin. Mm. Oh. I don't like this raw. I'm not a fan of that. Give me like a three. Wait, what we give this three? buffalo? Yeah. I don't like it. I don't know. The six? Yeah, buffalo is probably a six. I like having the flavor. It's cool, but... And then the jalapeno is a three. If you like jalapeno, if you like spicy stuff like Tabasco, this is good. If you like jalapeno, jalapeno that's good. jalapeno but... had a good flavor. Yeah, it tastes like jalapenos. I don't necessarily love the flavor of jalapenos. I like, I, so. I like the flavor of jalapeno, actually. So I don't like the flavor of any peppers. I just like spice. Six, five. So which one's your favorite out of all these? I honestly, the smoked to me yeah, or probably. the light. The smoke to the light. Actually, the light is probably my favorite so far. Yeah. We got six more. We do. We'll and back. they're all way more wild, so. Funky flavors coming up. Yeah. All right. We're back. We're back. We're back. Six <clears throat> more right here. Starting off the... with oven roasted turkey. Yep. They're just going to get stranger as we move <laughs> over. Stranger, so, yeah. um, oven roasted turkey. This is just a turkey version of normal spam. Does it actually have more turkey in it, you think? Or do they just flavor it to be? I was under the impression that it was only turkey. Where's the, uh, oh, wow. It's way different. Oh, it's not that many, actually. I thought there'd be one more. It's turkey talk, turkey broth, salt, potato starch, sugar, sodium. Is that my health food? I mean, it's sodium nitrate, sodium something. There's like four or five sodiums, but... This has so many less calories than the other spams. I imagine. How much less? This is 80. Even light spam is 110. Wow. So this is less than the light spam. It's the same protein as the light spam, too. So it's an even better protein calorie ratio. It's pretty good. And less sodium than the... I should the whole piece. I, I like it, too. It's not bad. I mean, don't get me... I don't think it tastes as good as what you No, it's a different thing. It's a different flavor, but I like it. I mean, it's way healthier if you're into that. Raw's a little weird. It's weird. I don't know. It's just like mushed up turkey meat. Yeah. Overall? Overall I don't know. What do you think? Six? You think it's better than normal spam? I kind of like it more. I because honestly, I didn't like normal spam that much. 
Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'd give it a six. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, next up, I believe this is bake or Tokino, to sorry. Tokino, which is uh, what was it? No. I, think, I, think it was, I think it was somewhere in South America. I think it was Mexico. I don't remember. It's a it's a spice blend um, from somewhere in South America. I had a special buy this one, and the teriyaki uh, flew them in. Oh, wow. Right off the bat. It's sweet. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like this a lot, actually. Mm-hmm. That was really good. Yeah. It gets like a nice... Caramelized coating on the outside yeah. of it. How sweet it is. I'm curious how the raw one tastes because it won't have the. Not as good. No, not as good. I, definitely you have to cook this one because yeah. the sweetness gets like a little caramelized flavor on the outside that's really good. Mm. It's really good, right? Yeah, it's really good. What, what was the highest rated one of it? Oh, light, right? Light, which was a seven. This is better. I gave it a, I gave it a nine. I should have. You turkey. I should have pulled back. No, this is way better. Yeah, this is better than light. I don't know, eight? Nine point two, I eight guess. Eight and a half for me. I'll get higher, nine point two. Uh, the next one is bacon. God, I like that a lot. With real Hormel bacon. So let me see ingredients oh. here. Pork with ham, <clears throat> bacon, cured with water, salt, sugar. Bunch of other shit. Pork fat, rendered pork yeah. fat, and then the rest of the normal stuff. So bacon. This is 180 calories a serving. <laughs> is it the most? It's the most, yes, yeah, the most. <laughs> huh. Reminds me of something? Spam. Yeah, but. I mean, you know what it is? Bacon. No, it's um, Slim Jims. I don't know why everybody's just kind of. a little, right? Yeah. There's a four. You like it less? I like it less than normal spam. Five to me. It's 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 just as good as regular spam. Mm, four. Because regular spam is too spicy. This doesn't have the spiciness, but too spicy. Not spicy, salty, sorry. My spam is too spicy. Regular spam is too salty. This isn't too Who salty. Who put all here. this salt on here? <laughs> Next up is maple. Uh, I'm curious. This is actually saying the ingredients. Okay. Maple syrup in it. Yeah, let me explain the maple one. It's Pork brand new. Spam. It just came out, and it is a permanent flavor. This is not a limited time. You can just get Spam with maple now at the store. Was sugar in the ingredient list on this? Oh, I imagine. Pork with ham, sugar, water. So this is also pork with ham, sugar, water. Maple S flavoring. Salt, starch, natural maple flavors. So what? Molasses is actually on the list, so. It smells like breakfast. It does. Kind of like coffee and like sausage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sweet. It tastes like when you put like, you know, syrup on your sausage. Mm -hmm. Exactly what it tastes like. It's very good. Yeah. Eight? I wish I saved some of this so that I could <laughs> mix them back and forth. I'm going to give it an eight. I think I like this one more. I put this in line with hickory smoke. I'm going to sound pretentious, but the depth of flavor on this one was better. Yeah. Oh, I agree. This one and the light I like more than that one. Nah. I like this more than light, but not as much as this. It's fair. 7.8. Now we have teriyaki spam. So this one is from Hawaii. You can only get it in Hawaii. And uh, it's specifically made for you to make spam masubi <clears throat> out of, which we didn't do. I have a masubi making kit at my house. I just didn't bring it. <laughs> I should have. I meant to. I meant to. I just forgot. Oh. Wow. It's more than just teriyaki flavor. There's something else in there. Garlic. Garlic. Yeah. A lot of garlic. A little bit of onion. This is well-seasoned Spam. Yeah. This would be great in Masubi. It would be perfect. With rice, mm -hmm. just in general. I think it's my favorite one. Really? Yeah. I don't know. That one was really good, but this one's also really good. I might be bold calling this a 10. Because, <laughs> like, what if, what if something else on this line is better than it? I doubt it. Because we have the limited edition figgy pudding. Could be better. Neither of us tried the... Oh. Uh, Maple raw. Oh, dude, the teriyaki raw is good. I like it better cooked. A lot better. <laughs> it's a lot better cooked. It's not good raw. Teriyaki, though. Really good raw. raw. It's really good raw. They're all better cooked. Teriyaki's a 10. I'm, I'm willing to give it a 10. Let me eat the rest of this piece. I'll give it a 9. I'll give it a 9. Mm. I don't know. I'd have to cook a slice of each of these and compare, but... If we didn't eat all of them... Yeah, well, last but not least, limited edition, figgy pudding. You can't buy this anymore. It was only for Christmas <clears throat> of 2023. It's, it smells very fruity. I'm going to look at when years expired. Oh, it's 2025, so that means I have some time on my camera. 
I'm never going to eat it. It's going to stay on my yeah. shelf forever. But <laughs> Same. I have one on my shelf as well. All right here. It's super both. brown. Like, like that's the raw. Not even cooked. That's the raw. It smells like cinnamon. Yeah. It's, that's why I said it's spiced fruit. Flavor. Oh. It's um, clove and cardamom. A lot of clove and cardamom. Cardamom? Yeah, a lot of cardamom. For sure. Cinnamon barely comes through, but it's mostly cloves and cardamom. I don't hate it. No. It's not good. Hmm. I'd rather have the... I'd probably give it a three. I'll give it a four. I give jalapeno? Yeah. I'd probably give it a three. Let me see that. Can? Here, man. Does it say the spices on here? I don't know. No. I think it has the longest list of ingredients. It just... It literally just <laughs> says <laughs> spices. There's... It goes <clears throat> potato starch, comma, spices, comma, natural flavoring. I can lie to you, Chris. Like, after this video, you want to cook up some more of these two with some rice? And <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't going to, oh, sure. I was going to cook up what I have there oh, okay. with some rice. All right, guys. Uh, so this is it. This is the Put them in order. This is the list from uh, best to worst. <laughs> Probably. We didn't go back and check, but this is vibe-wise. This, <clears throat> this is right. Um, this is the most important. This is great. These two are both great. Yeah. And what's super annoying is you cannot get them in America. Oh, yeah, yeah. The two exclusives. Yeah, are the, the two <laughs> exclusives are the best <laughs> ones. So that's cool. Uh, go ahead, drop a like, comment down below what you want to see us try next. I know people have been asking for this for approximately five years now. I actually got them all once before, by the way. Uh, and then we didn't film it, and they sat in my trunk, and they all expired. And then the car got full of bees because it broke down. And then I sold it to someone full of rotten bees? spam and exploded Szechuan sauce packets from McDonald's. Um, actual true story. The guy came and he's like, there's no way they offered you this much money for this car. And I'm like, listen, it, they're like, you said it, there was nothing wrong. I said there was mild exterior damage. They're like, yeah, well there is. And they're like, what about the interior? I'm like, well, you didn't ask about the interior. <laughs> like it's full of bees. They're like, it doesn't even start. I'm like the battery's dead. It's been sitting here for a year and a half. It didn't start without the battery, but they, they didn't know that. Right. The guy's like, well, I can check. By trying to jump it, opened up the hood, swarm of bees. He just he just gave up. He just gave up because it's full of bees. What are you going to do about it? I filled it with Szechuan sauce. It's a problem. Um, like, comment, subscribe. See you bees next like time. Szechuan bees sauce. like Szechuan sauce. It's sweet, dude.